Hey, I'm Andy Allardort, and in this edition of Indeep, I'd like to continue looking at dominant seventh triadic shapes, chord shapes, three note shapes that are based on dominant seventh shapes, as applied to the three chords in a three chord blues, a one, four, five blues in the key of E. So what that means is we're going to be looking at how to connect E7, A7, and B7 voicings on different string groups, different areas of the neck. The reason for doing this is it'll help you when you're playing over a blues to break out of scale patterns and typical licks so that you can base what you're playing on the correct chord tones for each chord as it comes along. It's a very useful technique to have together. All right, let's one more time. We're going to start with E7 right there like that, you know, top of your typical. seventh chord. So there's a few ways we could go from E7 to A7. Let's go from E7 to A7 like this. So we're going to have... So what happened is G sharp went to A, up one fret. D went down one fret to C sharp, and E went up to G. So just that by itself is a nice thing. One four resolution. So. And then, just for consist consistency's sake, we'll play B7 like this. So we add. And then we're going to play E7 like that. So that'll be our fourth one. All right, I'm going to now play over a slow blues in E and use these shapes to base my single note licks. So I'm not just going to play those three notes. I'm going to use notes from E minor pentatonic. And the notes that will fit over A and over B basically it's the notes of A minor pentatonic and B minor pentatonic, but focusing on the chord tones. Of those triads. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, in that example, I tried to emphasize the notes that made up the dominant triad for each one of those shapes as the chord came along the progression. So now, let's do the same thing. We're going to move up to the next position. We could play E7 here like this. And then we're going to play A7 like this. and B7 like this. So one more time. And then we jump to this for A7 and that for B7. 
It's a bit more of a jump, but this is definitely useful, I think. And then we'll wrap up over there. So one more time, I'm going to play on the slow blues and show you what I mean. So in that example, I had my licks here. You know, just trying to use those triadic dominant seventh notes as my points of emphasis and target notes. And then over A, Same thing over B. And then back to E. 